Uh, I am in Chicago and I am very excited because yesterday I hang out with uh, my husband's friends and I could talk with, with them and it was very nice for me because we, we went to a pub yesterday and we talked about a lot of things about my, my graduation, about my life, about Brazil and I am very excited because I, 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 I can see that my study is make difference because I can I can hear them very well I, I could understand a lot of things the most of things and it was very nice for me to stay here in that moment of my life that I can speak in English better than I used to speak in last year and I am very excited I go to Dubai and from Dubai I go to Oman I provide a training for that guy in English in English, nice. okay, but that's for what, me, that's, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, you were in Dubai training someone else in English. In English, uh, you guys, you methodology helped me a lot to speak in English, and this methodology helped me to give this, this, give this training for the, the, that, that guy in Noma, and the guys talk to me José Nunes very good we can understand all the things you talked about the, the subject I've heard similar stories from students countless times and they keep coming they're just ordinary people who wanted to speak English someday but instead of just wanting they sat down to do the hard part that most people put off less than five percent of the Brazilian population is able to speak English but things are changing something is happening and based on the fast pace that people are having access to information and they're waking up to the importance of English focusing on improving themselves this number of five percent will increase but good news it doesn't take much for you to be a part of this if you are building the best version of yourself and you want to thrive in 2024 Focusing on your English is one of the smartest choices you can make. And I'm doing this video in English to inspire you to be that person. I'm Vinicius Rodriguez and I've been teaching English online for five years now. I've been lucky enough to talk about the English language to over 100,000 people who follow me across social media and to over 1,900 students that study with me on my platform, Portal Nauer. More on Nauer later in this video. Today, we'll discuss the mentality, the mindset to make 2024 the greatest year of your life. How? By learning English. Chapter one, Memento Mori. A few years ago, I watched this video about procrastination for the first time. I was sitting and I literally stood up when I saw this image. Now, I wanna show you one last thing. I call this a life calendar. That's one box for every week of a 90-year life. That's not that many boxes, especially since we've already used a bunch of those. So I think we need to all take a long, hard look at that calendar. The phrase, there aren't that many boxes. That's not that many boxes. Got stuck in my mind ever since. I mean, I will die, you will die. That's the one thing that we are so sure about the future. Tomorrow is never. You are giving an excuse to yourself when you say that you just need to wait for things to get calmer, for your life to get less busy, so you can have time and start that long-term project that will take your life to the next step, you know? Tomorrow is never. That's just an excuse. In this case, that long-term project is studying English, seriously. Think about it. You are already living the life that you will tell your kids about. So why not be bold right now? But Vinicius, my routine is busy. My energy is limited. That's a fact. And I believe you, but there's a whole process of adaptation between the person you are now and this version of you who engages with English with consistency. It's a process. It's not an overnight change. Focus on small portions, my friend. Think about the tiniest actions that would make English a part of your environment so you can get started before this day ends. The tiniest action. And tomorrow, 
you look for another tiny action. The days will go by and little by little, action by action, you start your first course, maybe it's the playlist, Primeiras Frases in Inglês, that I have here on my channel. Then you stop watching dubbed content. The next month, you change the language of your phone to English. Then you subscribe to and engage with foreign YouTube channels that talk in English about your passions and hobbies. You will look back and it's gonna be the end of 2024. The amount of English that has piled up in your brain seems to be unbelievable. Through learning English, you are unlocking a whole lot of experiences, feelings, entertainment, memories for your future self. And your time to take that decision is finite. So yes, what I'm saying to you right now is go and learn English because you will die someday. You could leave life right now let that determine what you think, say, and do. Chapter 2. Knowledge is power, power is money. Let's go back to the Renaissance. We're talking about uh, the 15th, the 16th centuries. There was a language spoken by all important leaders and intellectuals who had access to more information and opportunities because of that knowledge. That language was Latin. Shame on you if you wanted to be relevant in society, in trades, in politics, in negotiations, and didn't speak Latin at that time. There was just no seat for you at the table. The years went by and English is now the Latin of our time, the most relevant language in the world. People are so eager to learn English that there are more English speakers as a second language worldwide than native speakers. That's mind blowing. And in a not so long future, maybe my grandchildren will have to think the same about Mandarin. Chinese, which will be inevitably the most important language in the future. But till that time comes, in 2024, English will still be the thing. People from Japan, Italy, Greece, Nigeria, regardless of their native tongues, they're all hoping to speak to you in English. The time will come, the opportunity will come, so you must be ready, you must be ready for this opportunity. Uh, that's why hotels that require English as a skill pay more than hotels that don't. Restaurants, stores, technology companies, doesn't matter. Those job opportunities that require English have bigger paychecks. That's what we want, bigger paychecks. That level of connection with the rest of the world empowers you. It, it pretty much makes you more relevant in society. It makes you heard. And with that power, you get countless new ways of making more money. And you don't necessarily have to work directly with English as an English tutor or as a translator. Because no matter what your field is, English can take you to the next level of it. English will make you get ahead of the competition. People out there are not willing to do the hard work, but you are. A human being should be able to change a diaper, plan an invasion, butcher a hog, con a ship, design a building, write a sonnet, balance accounts, build a wall, set a bone, comfort the dying, take orders, give orders, cooperate, act alone, solve equations, analyze a new problem, pitch manure, program a computer, cook a tasty meal, fight efficiently, die gallantly. Specialization is for insects. You probably won't have just one job, one career from now to the end of your life. Things will change and doors that you don't even know that existed will open up for you if you are ready. So let English be the tool that allows you to try new things. English allows you, <coughs> English allows you to try much more things than Portuguese will ever be able to, at least in our lifetime. Don't be afraid to try to experiment to have multiple interests, like a true Renaissance person. E antes de seguir em frente com o vídeo, eu não posso deixar de lembrar, como eu comentei com você no começo dessa nossa conversa, que tá aqui no primeiro link da descrição e também no comentário fixado abaixo desse vídeo, o meu site, viniciusrodrigues.com.br, onde você consegue ver todas as informações sobre o Portal Nower, que é a minha plataforma de fluência em inglês. É por lá, pelo Nower, que eu acompanho os meus alunos até o avançado, com material organizado, com as aulas já disponíveis, encontros que a gente faz, o suporte para todas as dúvidas, monitorias de conversação para você colocar para fora, praticar de verdade tudo o que você tem aprendido na plataforma, é completinho e você chega no avançado com tudo que o Nower tem à sua disposição. Então se você vem estudando, vem buscando na internet uma forma de você ficar bom em inglês e quer dar esse passo definitivo, 
com dois minutinhos você dá esse primeiro passo pelo link que eu deixei disponível aqui embaixo por onde você vai fazer a sua pré-matrícula para o Portal Nauer que vai te custar menos de dois minutos e a gente consegue entrar em contato com você para te passar todas as informações do seu próximo passo, ok? Já no começo de janeiro, dia 8 de janeiro, uma nova turma do Portal Nauer vai se iniciar e você pode dar o primeiro passo para poder entrar nessa turma fazendo a sua pré-matrícula pelo link que está aqui embaixo. Inclusive, no começo de 2024, a gente vai ter com as primeiras pessoas que se matricularem no Portal Nauer um período de aceleração, um sprint de resultados em que a gente vai ficar ao longo de três, quatro semanas executando um plano de ação para subir o seu ritmo de estudos no começo do ano para você acelerar os seus resultados e depois se acostumar com esse processo para que a continuação dos seus estudos seja bem tranquila. Então, o link está aqui embaixo, eu vou esperar você lá no Portal Nauer. Vamos voltar para o vídeo. Chapter 3. English and me. To be a great English speaker, there must be no separation between you and the language, you know? English has to become a part of your personality. If English is just like this isolated box in your brain that you access a few times a year, instead of being a part of who you are, you won't be good at it, ever. I'm sorry, you won't. And you don't have to be too obsessive with this at first. Learning a new language is like getting to know someone to date eventually and to get married eventually. Before you are living together and you have three kids and four dogs, this person gradually gets more and more space and relevance in your routine. Over time, you gradually get used to the idea that this is now an important part of your life. And the same thing happens when you're learning a new language, in this case, when you're learning English. So, small actions. Switching your phone language to English is a small action. Watching just one or two classes a week is a small action. Listening to English for 15 minutes while doing the dishes is a small action. Revising your Anki daily, which takes around five minutes, is a small action. Looking for channels on YouTube to subscribe to, uh, channels that talk about your hobbies and your fields of interest, is a small action. Journaling a little bit every week, a few ideas, thoughts, and feelings in English is a small action. And you don't have to do all of those small actions every day at the same time all of a sudden. Again, it's a process. Over the weeks and months, your job is to pile up small portions of English in your mind and uh, enjoying and appreciating every small step that you take and just wait for the snowball to grow. Watch the little things. A small leak will sink a great ship, said Benjamin Franklin. A few months into this endeavor and before you even notice, a great part of your life happens in English and there's no way back. English is just now a part of who you are. And you know that the best version of yourself speaks English. I know that, you know that. And nothing can keep you from already living the life today like the person you want to be uh, in the future, you know? Life is beautiful, full of opportunities. The world is ginormous and you are capable of great things, things you can't even imagine right now. Let's not waste that potential, because inaction is a slow death. Muito bem, eu espero que você tenha gostado do que eu separei para te contar aqui. Se isso ressonou com você, se inscreva aqui embaixo para você receber os próximos vídeos também. E claro, clica no gostei, é muito importante. Essa é a única forma do YouTube saber que o que eu faço aqui tem algum valor. Então se você viu o valor, clica lá no gostei, tá bom? Mais uma vez, o link para você iniciar a sua pré-matrícula para o Portal Nauer e aprender inglês junto comigo em 2024 tá logo aqui embaixo. As primeiras pessoas que se matricularem na turma que começa dia 8 de janeiro vão receber o acompanhamento meu de aceleração ao longo das primeiras 3 a 4 semanas do ano. Eu digo 3 a 4 porque eu tô para definir se, vai ser, se vão ser 21 ou 28 dias, mas de qualquer forma, vão ser pros primeiros a fazer parte a partir do dia 8 de janeiro. Eu vou esperar você, tá bom? Termina deixando uma mensagem aqui embaixo para você mesmo, pro seu eu do fim de 2024 sobre como vai ser importante para você priorizar o inglês esse ano. Isso é poderoso, você não faz ideia. Comenta aqui embaixo para o ano que vem você poder visitar essa mensagem. Muito obrigado por ter me recebido, por esses minutos, ter me ouvido. And remember, be kind, be brave, be good. I'll see you soon. Bye.